Over the winter, snow plows have damaged the concrete curbs. So we're gonna be repairing that with Sika Top 123. Keep watching the video. Welcome back, it's Jeff Lepard from doitallceiling.com. On this channel, we do asphalt paving, concrete repair, line painting, and so, so much more. So, if you're new here, consider subscribing. So we're about to repair a concrete curb that was damaged by snow plows throughout the winter. So it's now spring and it's time to start doing the concrete patching. And as you can see right here, uh, that the uh, concrete curb is damaged. So the first thing we need to do is we're gonna clean the surrounding area with brushes, shovel, and a quick blow to make sure the debris is out of the way before we start the concrete repairs. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start uh, shoveling the uh, dirt and debris and I'm gonna put it in a bucket to get that out of the way. Now that some of the rocks and debris are clean, I'm gonna use this crack broom just to loosen up some of the stubborn dirt that's stuck to the asphalt. And then I'm gonna give it a light blow and then begin applying the concrete. So now that everything is uh, free and clear, I'm going to finish off using my Echo handheld blower just to really make sure the area is clean on the concrete curb before I apply the Sika Top Coat 123. So now we're ready to apply the Sika Top 123. First, uh, we have component A and a component B. So you start off with component A in the bucket. You just pour whatever you um, think the amount that you're gonna use in a short period of time, followed by component B. So make sure it's, uh, you give it a really good shake. Okay. And I'm just gonna put about uh, not even an inch in the bucket because I can just mix more after. Just about that much. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, component B in, and I'm gonna start mixing to the desired viscosity. You don't wanna make it too soupy, and you don't wanna make it uh, too firm. So here there's not enough component uh, A, so I'm gonna put some more in. Okay, and continue mixing. Okay, so I have, to apply this, I'm gonna be using my rubber float. I have a grout sponge that I'm gonna to use to finish off the uh, curb along with uh, just a brush. You can use either a broom or a brush. That's just to give it a little bit of a grip after um, it sets up. So first thing you wanna do is you just, uh, you got your mix here. You just wanna get a little bit, um, and just take your time working it around the curb and I'll show you. So I'm just gonna start here and I'm just, all I'm gonna do is I just wanna get it on, applied onto the curb, paying attention to any areas that uh, need filling. Some areas gonna use a little more, some areas gonna use a little less. Doesn't have to be perfect, but um, you can go over that after. Just make sure all the rocks and stuff are out of the way. And then uh, just work your way all around the curb. <clears throat> and uh, this stuff's actually working pretty good. The weather's uh, really nice today. So now we got a bit of Sika on the curb. I'm going to wet my sponge. You don't want it too wet, just uh, fairly damp. And I'm going to start uh, circular motion, finishing the uh, curb off. And that's going to um, get, all, get rid of all the imperfections and the areas that uh, have too much buildup. It's uh, really easy to do. Just make sure that the uh, the Sika isn't set up 
uh, too hard. I'm just gonna work it wherever I need it. And you can see it smoothing out there. So now I'm just going to use a brush or broom, whatever you desire, to give it a final finish. It's just gonna give it a bit of uh, texture. So I'm just gonna wet it and just uh, shake the water out. And I'm just gonna glide the brush along the curb and you can see it's just giving it its uh, grooves and a little bit of anti-slip, just like that. So you can see the difference, the color change between the concrete. It's a little darker because it's still wet and this is already hardening up. It's uh, becoming a lighter color and that's where the uh, concrete is uh, beginning to cure. Um, so it's got a nice finish to it. Like I said, with the uh, sponge and brush finish, it's, um, it's already dry and it's got a bit of a texture. So this is, uh, it's got a good grip on it now. And uh, once that sets up, it'll be, uh, it'll be perfect and dry. So that's it, the concrete curbs are now complete. It's gonna take about 24 hours for it to fully cure and uh, traffic can resume. So I just wanna thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Bash that bell, turn notifications on for all upcoming videos. Leave a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up and like the video. And we'll see you next time. Doitallceiling.com. Take care guys, bye-bye.